very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management, principal, teaching and non-teaching staff, our students of Don Bosco College of Engineering, Papraga, I wish to extend a warm and hearty welcome to all gathered here for this annual day of our institute. Don Bosco College of Engineering was established in the year 2011 with the objective of providing quality technical education for the youth in the state of war. Our college focuses not only on gaining technical expertise, but also on the overall personality development of students, providing innovative education, training and placements, and creating skilled global citizens. Along with academics, sports and cultural activities go hand in hand as a part of Pasar Pateri College Life. Our college offers a strong foundation in technical engineering education by creating curiosity, encouraging innovation, and instilling a strong value-based education system. The annual day is a platform for us to appreciate, celebrate, and acknowledge our young budding engineers for their academic achievements. We will now have the college video.
signifies knowledge. All our activities should be governed by the light of knowledge. By this knowledge, ignorance and darkness is dispelled. It is this light we carry within our hearts that not only ignites the mind but our hearts too. I now request Dr. Kala Naik, our registrar, to kindly escort our dignitaries to light the light.
through the CSR efforts of SSCPL. He has helped create many libraries in 10 rural schools in Goa. He has been an avid investor in non-listed business. He was a director of Noble Hygiene Limited, Mumbai, which was scaled up to become India's largest business in adult diapers. His stake together with stake of other Goan investors was picked up by the Quadria Capital in Bay Area, USA, very recently. He was also a director in Kipla's Piping Systems Limited, India's largest manufacturer of electro-fusion fittings and valves. The company was acquired by Norma of West Germany for a nearly rupees 500 crores. He is an active member of Mumbai Angels and has made several investments in startups, including Rua Space, a startup engaged in development of small satellites promoted by alumni of Bits Pilani Goa campus, Crimson Healthcare Private Limited, a startup promoted by IIT Madras Alumnus, and focused on innovative cutting edge solution for a stormy care, lead startup, lead start publishing and charcoal eats, a cloud kitchen delivery business which plans to obtain a turnover of rupees 150 crores in the next 12 months. We welcome you, sir. I now request um, Ms. Grebin Alimau to kindly welcome our chief guest.
extremely close to release the 10 years low.
My dear friends, I would just like to say, it was not I who put this together, but there are four youngsters who are sitting here amidst us. We have Akhilesh Vishen, thank you for coming. Roshan Gomes, Aloysius Baptista, and Freddy Fernandez. These four of them are, we can say, are moving archives. <laughs> if you want anything, you know, any old photograph 10 years back, these are our contacts. And the one, and the one who put all those photographs and all our ideas together was Akhilesh. In the name of our management, principal, and everyone here present, I want to say a big thank you to the four of you. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Very good morning to all present. Our chief guest for today, Mr. Vijay Tede, Managing Director, Shivarajini Securities Private Limited, Reverend Father Paul, our Rector, Reverend Father Kindri, our Director, our Administrator, Reverend Father Rale, Reverend Father George, Dr. Kala, our Registrar, all heads of departments present, CEO of FIRE, Mr. D.S. Prashant, our Project Officer of Goa State Innovation Council, Mr. Sudeep Paldesai, our special guest for today, Ms. Leena Hede, Manager, Shivranjani Securities, Ms. Carol Fernandez, Chartered Accountant of Shivranjani Securities Private Limited, dear parents, students, teaching and non-teaching staff members, I extend a very, very warm welcome to each one of you on this very special day as we complete 10 years of existence. We at DBC offer a broad curriculum and a range of opportunities for all our students to achieve excellence in academics, creative, social, cultural, sports and community and endeavors. We value collaborative learning, positive relationships and building capacity among our students to effectively allow them to engage in the world of the future. Well, it is well said, success comes to those who work hard and stays with those who don't rest on the laurels of the past. I'm very much proud to share that we are completing 10 years of excellence in engineering education and I'm very much thankful to the dedication and commitment of our management, faculty, supporting staff and students of our college that has helped us in strengthening our journey of achieving excellence in technical education. A state of art infrastructure, motivating environment and with emphasis on providing professional education within short span of time I should say that our institute is already well known to be one of the best technical institute in our state of Goa. Well, on behalf of all my heads of department, it is my pleasure to present the annual report for the last academic year. Very proud to present before you our faculty achievements. 
Dr. Gauram Patkar, Head of Computer Engineering Department, was invited as keynote speaker for second international conference on computer communication and mechatronics engineering in China. He is pursuing his postdoctoral at Research Lincoln University College, Malaysia. Dr. Gauram has also received a gold medal at the 6th International Invention Innovation Competition in Canada, ICANN 2021, for his postdoctoral research. Among 650 innovations presented with participation from 70 different countries. We have established a local NPTEL <coughs> chapter in association with IIT Chennai. Many of our faculty and students undergo certified courses floated on Swayam platform by reputed IITs and NITs. Professor Nadia Secure, top 1% in 12 week NPTEL online exam in maintenance and repair of concrete structures. She also secured a light medal in the 8 week NPTEL online exam in development and application of spatial concrete. Prof. Akshita Kutsarkar secured a light and silver medal in 12 week NPTEL online exam in MBA accreditation and teaching learning in engineering. Professor Satesh Kakurkar, Assistant Professor from Civil Engineering Department, is certified as an Institution Innovation Cell Ambassador by Ministry of Education, Government of India. Dr. Shweta Prasanna, Head of Department of Civil Engineering, is recognized as University PhD guide. She has applied for research grant under SERB, Characterization of Soil Hydraulic Properties for Zuari River Basin, Goa. Professor Gauri Saman received grant of around 3 lakh rupees from DST and Goa State Innovation Council. We have received total grant of about 12 lakh rupees for our students project from DST as well as Goa State Innovation Council considering all the departments taken together. Professor Tanay Vege has been nominated as the student chair of Ishri Goa chapter for the year 21-22. Professor Suraj Marathi was nominated as publicity chair at International Conference on Industrial Engineering and Artificial Intelligence. He is also secretary of IIE Goa chapter for the year 21-22. Professor Ramnath Prabhu was invited as resource person for delivering session on tools and techniques for vibration monitoring in IC engine for Gas Authority of India Limited. He was also invited for training faculty for Indalco uh, on the domain of condition monitoring through vibrational analysis. Very happy to inform all that we have established research and development cell under uh, leadership of Dr. Varsha Turkar, Head of Department of Electronics and Telecommunication. Many of our faculty have published their patents and have published papers in reputed uh, journals, national as well as international journals. We have 11 PhD holders and 22 faculty are pursuing PhD and enrolled at reputed institutions. To add to this number, I just got to know this Saturday that three additional faculty members, Ms. Manisha, Ms. Kimberly, and Ms. Priyanka, are selected to pursue their research at MIT Goa. Very proud to inform that two of our faculty have completed their research work. Dr. Vivek Jo from Computer Engineering Department and Dr. Vidya from Electronics and Telecommunication Department this academic year. We do a lot of uh, community outreach programs. We have adopted five villages under Unnat Bharat Abhyan. Our students as well as our faculty actively participate and do a lot of activities for the benefit of the villages. As a part of social responsibility, every year we organize seminar on career in engineering. This seminar is organized so as to create awareness of various branches of engineering available before the students opt for a particular branch. Awards and recognition. Our students undergo internship under internship. 
this year. We are ranked 169 at the zonal level and we have stood third among all the institutions in our state of Goa. The credit definitely goes to our training and placement officer, Ms. Aveda, and her entire team. A big round of applause. <laughs> Officer received certificate of appreciation awarded to our college for organizing webinar on career progression with SAP and NEP from Office of Commissioner Labor and Employment, Regional Employment Exchange at the hands of uh, Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, Dr. Pramod Sadat. I'm very proud to mention this that our student team was selected at Grand Finale of Smart India Hackathon 2020 as well as one team of students of civil engineering department was shortlisted for Vishwakarma Award for their innovative project work. These are our two ongoing research projects going on, one at DRTO and other at ISRO. And we local chapter, more details about this chapter that we have established in our institution. Dr. Shweta Prasanna and Professor Akshar, Akshana Kutsar were participating in Spokathon event, a continuous content augmentation program in the subject of geosynthesis testing laboratory, which is organized by NPTEL. These are the faculty who have received mentorship certificate by NPTEL for enrollment of more number of students for NPTEL courses. These are the achievement of our faculty in uh, undergoing NPTEL courses. In lines with NEP, which aims to deliver courses in mother tongue, Professor Vaishali from uh, Science and Humanities Department, she is Professor in Mathematics at, uh, in our institution, she has been selected as NPTEL translator. She has been instrumental in translating two mathematical NPTEL courses in Marathi language. I think she deserves a round of applause. who have got enrolled for NPTEL courses and have got certified courses from reputed IITs and NITs at the Swayam platform. DVC has received appreciation certificate from Texas Instruments for Answering Embedded System Design NPTEL exam for ETC students. Dr. Vidya who is our NPTEL coordinator, has received appreciation as our institute was declared as active local chapter for the term Jan-June 2020 as well as July-December 2020. Uh, we do gate coaching for our students. Our faculty members take a lot of efforts in training them for gate exam. And this year we have six of our students who have cleared gate exam. A big round of applause for them. We have, this is a very good initiative that is taken by all the departments wherein knowledge sessions are conducted, wherein the faculty share their work with their fellow colleagues. This is initiated by Dr. Varsha, chairperson of r &D committee. We have found that a lot of sessions are conducted in emerging areas like AI, machine learning, AR, VR, but not much is uh, covered when it comes to cyber security. So this year, to bridge this curriculum gap, we are conducting workshop on cyber security for our faculty, students, and industry members. The initiative has been taken by Dr. Gaurang, who is the head of the computer engineering department and his team. Dr. Karim Tovich, UK-based cyber security consultant, will be delivering the session uh, in this month from 23rd to 25th of September. Well, we have collaborated with Binghamton University and have conducted various webinars for the benefit of our students and faculty. Don Bosco, Binghamton Big Data Online International Conference is planned on 19th, 20th and 21st of October this year, which is organized by Binghamton University USA in association with our Department of Science and Humanities. And uh, the convener for this workshop, for this international conference is Dr. Kalar Naik, Head of Science and Humanities Department, and Professor Natasha is the convener. 
and sorry, she is the one of the coordinators from our <coughs> college. We have a plan to establish Women's Cell Drishni at DBC, which will focus on the development of the faculty, the women and the girl, girls uh, present in the campus as well as uh, in our state of Goa. We have established Institution Innovation Council, IIC, which is focusing on creating a vibrant ecosystem along with promoting startup entrepreneurship supporting mechanism at the campus for the staff and the students. These are the various webinars that we organize on various topics including ideation, IPR, patents, etc. for the faculty and the students. These are the various sessions that were conducted as a part of IIC. For those students who aspire to become future entrepreneurs, we have started audit course, Idea to Startup. Our fire team led by DS Prashan has helped us in designing the curriculum for this course. I am happy to inform that 64 students from first year have already enrolled for this course and the duration of this course is for three years till they reach the third year. These are some of the sessions that were conducted for the audit course by eminent speakers. DBC is a remote center for IIT Bombay under the project of National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology. Professor Amrita from Computer Engineering Department is the Remote Center Coordinator. This project focuses on empowerment of teachers through workshop using a unique blend of active pedagogy. Professor Achintya Kamli, Mechanical Department Assistant Professor in Mechanical Department, he attended three-day pedagogy workshop on teaching thermodynamics, which was conducted by IIT Bombay Remote Center. About 36 computer students enrolled for a six-week course on basic programming under Python, which, is, which was conducted by IIT Bombay Laksha. They were mentored by Professor Amrita from Computer Engineering Department. Don Bosco College is a nodal center for IIT Bombay for virtual labs since January 2019. The rapid growth of information and communication technology has now made it possible for virtual laborat laboratories to be used as an alternative or to supplement the physical or real laboratories. All the departments made good use of the virtual labs in this pandemic times. Well, this is our cultural team. My sincere thanks to the cultural team along with all other staff members for putting a lot of efforts to organize this annual day and also other celebrations that are happening at DBC. Last but not the least, we would like to celebrate our ongoing success with campus recruitment of batch 2021. Computer engineering students received 39 job offers during this recruitment process. We have 32 students placed at various companies with the highest package of 7 lakh per annum offered by TCS Digital to Mr. Yash Diniz. I think he deserves a round of applause. In Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, 14 students are placed with 15 job offers received from various companies with highest package of 4.5 lakh per annum offered by Persistent Systems. We are very pleased and happy to announce that CFT has conducted an exclusive recruitment drive with us for the mechanical engineering student and our student Ms. Venetia Filasso was selected as graduate engineer trainee in supply chain with a package of 6 lakhs per annum. She was felicitated by our Honorable CM Dr. Pramod Savant on World Youth Skills Day 2020. A big round of applause. who virtually conducted campus placement for our batch 2021 student. We still have more companies in pipeline, especially for mechanical and civil engineering students. We also have started campus recruitment for the batch 2022 with seven students from computer and ETC already placed at Persistent System. We are also pleased to announce that Kip Gemini has sent invitation to be the day one company for recruitment for our college for batch 2022. I think uh, our training and placement officer and our team deserves a big <laughs> Before I conclude, I would uh, like to mention this and I am very happy to mention that our incubation center 
Fire has been selected by Government of India as an incubator to seed fund startups under Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. And also DST Nidhi has granted Prayas that is promoting and accelerating young and aspiring technology entrepreneur scheme which is specially to support young innovators turn their ideas into POC. So I think our CEO is, uh, of FIRE is uh, there here right with us. He's taking a lot of efforts and for our students as well. A big round of applause for you. I would also uh, like to mention that our project officer of World State Innovation Council is helping a lot in you know funding uh, various projects uh, of our students and also helping us, uh, you know, making good use of the prototype lab that has been established by Goa State Innovation Council. A big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, dear Sushant and Sudhi. Before I end, I would like to mention that our heads have created beautiful videos to showcase, you know, other achievements of faculty, students and departmental activities which I did not present in this uh, presentation. Lastly, I would like to sincerely thank Mr. Vijay Hede for gracing, gracing this occasion and also granting scholarships for uh, 15 of our deserving students. I think he deserves a big round of applause. I will now conclude my presentation. Have a lovely day. And once again, I welcome all the parents and students. And congratulations, hearty congratulations to all the achievers. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. We will now move on to the next. So I request the heads of departments to kindly present to the audience the events, achievements, and activities that take place here at Don Bosco College of Engineering.
education, engineering department comprises of 17 faculty members, out of which 3 are PhD holders and 1 is pursuing PhD. Our department has various industry collaborations which provide value-added courses on latest technology, thereby creating skilled workforce. Four projects from BEDC received funding from various organizations like DSG Goa, FIRE and GSS. Our department continuously strives to bring in industry experts to share domain knowledge for the accelerated growth of students, especially in the emerging domains like augmented reality, machine learning, wavelet transport, etc. Our department faculty members have conducted various knowledge sharing sessions to help deepen the knowledge of every individual, thereby promoting healthy community. DBIS Students Association aims to promote the overall development of the students through various technical and skill development programs. The ninth installation of DBIS Students Council was held on 24th October 2020. In order to promote broad understanding and innovation in robotics, a four days online program on aerial robotics was organized in collaboration with NP Corridor Solutions, Private Limited, Mumbai. ICTE Student Branch, a community of technology and engineering professionals, has conducted various events like five days webinar series on recent trends. ITE Day, hands on session on circuit design and simulation, Ladex workshop, online coding competition, tech coder. The third institution of ITE Studio Branch Council was held on 20th March 2021. In order to create partnerships between the educational institutions, our department organized an outreach program in government high school, Kano. ICTE in association with WIM Affinity Group Bombay Section organized five day skill and knowledge enhancement program on introduction to AI and its application. Parikana, a student satellite group set up our department with the primary aim to develop ground station and to design and fabricate student satellite has organized various events like SCTP on 5G wireless communication and antenna design using MATLAB and similar. Out of 870 participants, 184 participants were international. The following projects were carried out on our student satellite club. Organized guest lecture on amateur video and ham radio exam preparation. Our college hosted the amateur video exam conducted by Wireless Planning and Coordination Wing of the Ministry of Communication, New Delhi. Our department takes a great pride in announcing the students and the faculty members who cleared the amateur station exam 2021. Antenna Research Group motivates the students to work in the area of antenna design for LTE and wireless communication systems and has conducted antenna design workshop for the first year ETC students. Eyankar, the BC Robotics team, organized a two days workshop on Fiber B Robot to train the students of Team ETC. ETC department is also a remote center for IIRS P0 courses and have organized various online distance programs. Our department organized 5 days IST approved activity on recent trends in RF and microelectronics in association with NIT Goa. Departmental newsletter Flash, which is published by NMA, highlights the students and the faculty achievements and also the events conducted by the department every semester. The first issue of Google, Project IDEBook, was launched with the aim of providing a platform to the final year students to exhibit their novel project ideas and serve as a benchmark for aspiring engineers to gain an insight into the latest development in engineering and technology. We are proud to acknowledge the faculty members and appreciate their initiatives in making our institute a premier educational organization. 
Professor Flavia Leitong provides consultancy for startups and industries to develop prototype PCBs. Faculty members from our department have been invited as the resource person at various seminars, workshops, activities, etc. Dr. Varsha Turkar appointed as an executive member and the chair for IEEE Group in Engineering Bombay Section and WI Chair for the prestigious first International India Geoscience Remote Sensing Symposium, December 2020. Professor Yeshida Smutu, appointed as Vice Chair for Technical and Professional Activities Committee, TPAC and Technical Aid for Women in Engineering at IEEE Bombay Section. Professor Mohini Nan was invited by the Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, Dr. Pramod Sam, at the CM's residential office to discuss APL projects, also appointed as IEEE Bombay WIP Committee member, also appointed as the post coordinator for IIRS e learning courses by IIRS from July 2020 onwards. Professor Darren Roberts qualified GATE 2021 by securing a score of 453 All India Ranking 2819 and percentile 96.5%. Our faculty members have published several research papers in reputed international journals and have participated in various national and international conferences to present their research work. Our students have got accolades for the department by their achievements in various state level, national and international events and competitions. In this year, 12 students from our department have completed NPTEL certification courses. 166 students completed a minimum of 30 hour certified course in various domain on Coursera platform. 23 students completed Indian Institute of Remote Sensing certified courses. Some of our IPTV students members have been appointed as volunteers for site SEC, WITPEC, and PES under IPT Bombay section. Some of the major highlights of IEEE student branch can be seen through their achievements at various national and international platforms. Many of our students have been placed in multinational software and co hardware companies like IBM, TCS, Capture, Wipro, Goldrich, Benjamin Johnson. Students are motivated to undertake internship programs in various random firms, both public and private sector exposing them to real-world projects, thereby helping them to develop a network and context. Nothing makes us prouder than being able to talk about the success of our alumni. The students of EDC department have a history of achieving their dreams and soaring beyond boundaries. Thank you.
move on to the academic prize distribution. So I call upon uh, registrar Dr. Kalanai to announce our toppers. We will also have the awards presented to the meritorious students. I request uh, Ms. Nisha Budino to kindly assist Dr. Kalanai.
sugar with a percentage of 69.06. Mr. Viraj, I call upon Dr. Shweta, head of the department of civil engineering to collect the price and certificate on behalf of Mr. Viraj.
coming to final year of ETC Engineering students. First rank goes to Ms. Sheikh Sikga with 85.02%.
Thank you. 
in physics as well as in chemistry. Um, let us give awards to them. Mr. Sanat Prabhudesai, he scored 100 out of 100 in physics. William 
Xavier Mascarenas was born in Pune in 1902. He did his schooling at St. Vincent in Pune and went on to St. Xavier College, Mumbai. He attended the College of Engineering in Pune in 1921, where he obtained a first class in the final BE examination. Mr. Mascarenas was the only Indian entrant into the prestigious Indian Service of Engineers, which he joined in, in 1925. He has several achievements to his credit in education and engineering. He was a member secretary of the River Valley Project Technical Committee under Sri M. Vishwadeya, responsible for the pre-independence planning of major infrastructure projects including the Bakra Nangal Dam. He was the Director of Technical Education for the Bombay Presidency. Mr. Mashkavinas was, was appointed Member Secretary in 1947 to the Field Marshal Sir Cloud Okmoon Lake Committee to develop a master plan for the construction of a National Defence Academy after studying military establishments in France, UK, and USA. As chairman of the planning board of Goa, Dhamman, and Dew in 1951, he helped to plan for economic de development and integration of Goa after independence. As the chief engineer of the Bombay State in 1955, he was instrumental in laying of the tetrapods along Marine Drive to protect the sea wall. Mr. Mascarenhas' motto in life was hard work, integrity, and the ability to get on with our fellow beings. He passed away in August 1987. To honor and remember their father, Mr. Andrew, and Mrs. Maria Mas Marisa Mascarenas has set up an annual award for two engineering students who show significant academic promises. This award was initiated in our college in the year 19 2018. The recipient of this year's award are Mr. Siddesh Kamath from TE Computers and Ms. Harshada Gavis from TEETC. I'd like to request our director, Father Kinley de Cruz, to give them their awards. My pleasure to invite Mr. Ms. Harshada Gavas, please.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, students, and all the very best to you all. Thank you, Dr. Kala and Mrs. Myron. I now request Dr. Neena Paranthikar to kindly escort our chief guest, Mr. Vijay Kare, our director, Father Paul Sukha, and our director, Father Kinley, to the to today's. I now request our director, Reverend Father Kennedy Cruz, to kindly deliver the address. A warm welcome to you all, our distinguished chief guest, Mr. Vijay Kennedy. Managing Director and Co-Owner of Shivranjini Securities Company Private Limited, our Rector, Father Paul D'Souza, our Administrator and Assistant Director, Father Alvin D'Souza, Father George Quadros, our Principal, Dr. Nina Panandekar, our Registrar, Dr. Kala Naik, Madam Rina Hede, Managing Manager, Shivranjani Securities Private Limited. Madam Karen Fernandez, Chartered Accountant, Shivranjani Securities Private Limited. The HODs of our various departments, Faculty Teaching and Non-Teaching, the CEO of FIRE, D.S. Prashant, and his team members, Project Officer of Goa State Innovation Council, Mr. Sudip Faldasai, parents of our dynamic and talented youngsters, and our dear students, those here present, and those participating in the celebrations online. Welcome to the 10th annual day function that is being held in Blended Board. Finally, the auspicious day has arrived, putting an end to our eager waiting. With its many postponements and tireless preparations for this event. It is a day of rejoicing because we will recall together a lot of touching stories that we have experienced in the last year. It is also a day for our parents and friends to know about the happenings in our institution. Our students have always been known for their diversified capabilities. Pity they are not with us physically present at this moment. We are at an important juncture. When one chapter closes and a new one begins. It is overwhelming that we now count 10 years from the inception of our institution. What a journey it has been, with each year having its own triumphs and struggles, especially the past year and a half, pandemic, as we call it, with all its uncertainties, 
moving to and fro from the offline mode to the online mode and vice versa. My dear students, let me tell you this. We here at Don Bosco College of Engineering, that is Madam Principal and all the faculty, teaching and non-teaching, felt like fish out of water without you here on this campus. And without you here at this campus, there was an heavy silence which was only broken by the noise of the bell. But we have grown from strength to strength and have not allowed the pandemic to deafen, deaden or defeat the family spirit that pervades in this place. This year, as every other, was exciting, was challenging, was invigorating. Many of our latent talents have come to the fore. Some days were endless. Emergencies and urgencies came unannounced. Each giving us a scope to learn, to question, to reflect and to introspect. As we get ready to take on another year, we welcome all that will come with it. It was Joshua J. Marie who said, and I quote, challenges are what makes life interesting and overcoming is, with, is what makes life meaningful." Unquote. To our parents and students, thank you for your continued trust and faith that you impose in each one of us here at Don Bosco College of Engineering. Here at Don Bosco College of Engineering, we set our own standards, we try to reach them, we raise the bar and elevate ourselves to a higher plane. The learning, the evolving and the effort never ceases. I once again welcome you all. Have a wonderful day and may God be with you all. God bless you. Thank you so much, Father. We will now have the release of the magazine and newsletter. So I request Professor Anisha Parker to kindly come forward. And I request our chief guest, Mr. Vijay Hede to kindly release the magazine titled Weekend.
to release the newsletter connections. In our request, our rector, Reverend Father Paul Souza, to kindly address the other. and 
invited guests. Our attitude to life can also be very contagious. To a positive attitude person, a problem is a stepping stone to success. But to a negative attitude person, every problem becomes a stumbling block. Negativity can hold us back from fulfillment in life and is a sure way to failure, frustration and disappointments in life. If negativity is the stumbling block in leading happy, successful life, then positivity is the stepping stone to self-actualization to enrichment and a purposeful meaning in life. People with a positive frame of mind look at the brighter side of life and anticipate happiness, health and success. Our founder Don Bosco himself was a very optimistic person. With this state of mind, with this positive state of mind, is easier to achieve success, improve relationships, enjoy good health, happiness, satisfaction, and inner peace. This is my message for all of us. Let us be people with positive attitude and enjoy fulfillment in life. God bless you all. Thank you, Father, for your words of wisdom. I now request our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Vijay Gede, to kindly address the gathering. Because a growth of a, a 
an institution is not something which is driven by a faculty or by a, a, a students. You know, everyone needs to become a, a, a party to it, uh, including the parents themselves. Because the way they uh, uh, bring up the children uh, uh, is something uh, that changes the, uh, the, the institution itself. Uh, I have been uh, uh, kind of uh, um, uh, thinking uh, uh, aloud as to what I should be talking on today. You know, the easiest topic uh, for me to talk normally is the, the perspectives of the future as I see here, what kind of challenges will come, what kind of industries will uh, develop, what kind of uh, um, uh, 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 opportunities and challenges will be there. But I am refraining from doing it <coughs> because it will go on and on. So, there is, uh, so I said I, I dare on something which is far more important, which is far more in short supply and, and that is why it needs greater attention. And uh, the one is the humility, and one is the ability in each one of us to reach out to a people who are not as fortunate as we are. You know, we, we, we uh, you know, I am today assisting a few uh, economically challenged students, but if you look at the challenges before the country, they will be in top 20% of the population. They are not uh, people at the bottom of the pyramid. And even as we celebrate the, the performance of the students, <coughs> we should be aware that at the end of the day today, at least 150 million Indians will go hungry in bed. That is what we need to change. And that cannot be changed by any shouting, by any government. If the, the whole finger, as I was saying uh, just uh, uh, um, two hours back addressing our uh, beneficiary with the finger points in. We blame politicians, but who are they? They are manifestation of what we are with full powers. I have a feeling, I believe that all of us, or at least 90% of us, would behave the same way if we have no restrictions on us. So, please, <coughs> you know, we need to change ourselves. Now, the first uh, trait that I will talk about is empathy. You know, just think, you know, the students, the parents, you know, uh, empathy does not need money. To show empathy, you don't need money. Just think of the last time you helped an uh, uh, old woman cross the road. What is happening on the roads in Goa? You know, that is where our all behavior stems from. It, 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 it stems from the way we behave in normal life. <clears throat> what was the last time when you saw an old woman crossing at the zebra crossing and you just felt so? Just ask yourself, don't give me answers. And then you realize where the problem lies. The problem lies within ourselves. And that is what we need to address. So, the empathy and uh, second is humility. Most of us don't have humility in many instances. So, as a part of, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that you talked about integrated development. Very great concept. But bring this humility, bring this uh, uh, empathy, bring an inclusiveness, which you, you, you have demonstrated, into the students' lives. Because they will create the future. No, most of us who, who address this uh, uh, or who teach them are passing people. The world, the India of future will be created by these students. And it is them that they need to imbibe these two uh, uh, great virtues is empathy, uh, <coughs> humility and I will add an inclusiveness. Very, very necessary for each one of us. Otherwise, I don't know how long they will stand as a nation. I, you know, I've had very bad experiences uh, uh, where people tend to divide on every possible factor. I, I was, uh, uh, I put up a factory at a place called Navili in, in North Goa, and and then somebody came to us and I said, you know, what I have done in my own family, I'm recruiting all goats. He said, no, uh, you are recruiting goats, but what about people from my ward? 
So we learn very quickly to deny ourselves. So whatever uh, parameter that we can get, it can be religion, it can be caste, it can be color, it can be green, it can be anything. But we don't find one single reason to unite ourselves as one. It is. Possibly it happens only when somebody attacks us. I've seen that kind of a feeling arises. Not arise. So bring that feeling uh, into, um, I think it's a responsibility of the student as well to get that into your uh, uh, work life, get, get that into your student life. So these are the first two things. The second is, the uh, uh, rector talked about uh, <coughs> rector positivity. <coughs> my my uh, very humble belief, I was not born to get into IITs. I was doing fairly bad at the school level. But then certain, certain things change, which made me realize, why am I like this? It doesn't happen in everybody's life. It did happen into uh, in, into my life. So the human potentiality is unlimited. We use only about four percent of our potential. Believe me, four percent, ninety-six percent is you are born with it and you die with it. So bring that into a picture. Now my own experiments. I want to say, uh, just stop me when. Uh, that time is up. Uh, I, I will give you my own personal experiences. I will change the name of the god, uh, uh, you know, for masking who uh, he is. His name, let us say, was Akata. And uh, he used to sell plastic bags in Kanji market. But every time I talk to him, those days I used to go and fish. I like fish. So I, I do my, uh, even today, uh, on a uh, holiday, I go and buy my own. So this boy is to give me plastic bags. And he will tell me, first time I heard from a guy who says plastic. So this is of this micron. You don't have to worry about the cat carrying this plastic bag. So he knew a word, is not on the school then, he knew a word called plastic. He knew a word called micron, that, that it was a thickness. So I said, this is the guy who can be nurtured. So we put him in, in those days, you had a, 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 a home for uh, uh, children who did not have a shelter otherwise. So we put him in a, uh, it was known as Hamara School in Panjim. And it was given by the government and it was run by Kasturba Gandhi National Promoted Trust. This boy passed out his 10th uh, uh, standard schooling in Dinan first. Uh, then, we put, uh, then he got into uh, the uh, college where they went in for an integrated uh, uh, I think it is BCom program, which is four years, four years instead of five. So you need a little more acceleration. And then I, I got him on board and I asked him what he wants to be in life. Now listen to this one. He said, for starters, I want to be a chartered I don't know how much, how much I want to go. This is a boy who was selling plastic bags. And, and mind you, that will be millions of guys who are selling plastic bags somewhere in India today who have this and we, we are not addressing that. <clears throat> so I told him, yes. I said, no, this is a very difficult exam. So I, I told him, no, there is no, the, the results is uh, only about 4%. And he said, it's okay. He said, sir, don't worry. It did happen. And uh, I had invested in, in, a, uh, in my process of investment. I had an investment in an in a institution for JK Shah classes, which produces the best results for chartered accountants, she will like, it's about 25 percent of them. It's very difficult to get in. So I said, you know, let us do this. So CSR. And I said, I will send him my letter. But this person, exam does not require to be coached. You, sorry, sir, if you can get me the material, that is enough. Why do you want to take this uh, problem and, and expand it unnecessarily? Uh, she answered his foundation course. And Pass. He came with uh, some sweets to me and said, yes, sir, I told him I have got through. She knows that. Then he came to intermediate. I said, this time now it is difficult. <laughs> you have got the foundation, but now it is difficult. He said, no, sir, I can't get me the money. So when the uh, results are announced, uh, in the first group, he is already cleared, right? 
He cleared the first. Uh, I put there, you know, uh, I like to, if a person is good, I like to push him further. I don't want, want because I have not been uh, brought up that way, so I want children to be pushed. So I said, I will put you in one of the big four chartered accountancy firms, but I don't know whether they are good for it. He said, sir, don't do it right now. Like right now, I will work in a, in a good uh, uh, um, chartered accountancy firm in Goa. So I said, I will send you to Deloitte. Because if he gets into Deloitte, then I know that there is some money. So, here then he has not passed his full group. Half, half of the group, one group. There is another group to be answered. Uh, and what really happened is, uh, uh, I spoke to the head of the big, uh, the Deloitte's are well, uh, uh, stepping as auditor. So I, I spoke to the head of this. I said, this is a, I'm doing on CSR. I have some soft mind on this guy, but I want him to uh, remove the shackles. Uh, <coughs> so um, he phones me up later. He says, there's no need to thank me. I have to thank you for recommending such a person. I have told him to unfinish his uh, second group engine. Even before he has passed. So, the point I am saying is, don't get discouraged. First, you know, the only thing I have seen happening in families, if somebody fails, if somebody does not, everyone wants that child to be number one. We are awarding prizes for number one and number two. Right? So, now I will tell you real empirical evidence that, uh, you know, People who are down under are also as good or sometimes better. Uh, in, the, in the school, up to uh, at that time we did SSE, uh, up to 10th my rank was 13. In, in SSE I was 15th in, not Goa, in Maharashtra secondary board. In 15th. Right? In IIT, JEE, which, which people say is so very difficult, my rank in chemistry was number 2 already. I shared with them. So, your ability is unlimited. Unfortunately, what happens in the process of bringing us up, we kill that ability. And kill it so successfully. It happens at home. You can't do this. You don't touch this. This is uh, this uh, toy you don't touch. So everything you are prevented from doing. You are saying, you know, learn by doing. But how do we bring our children up? Do we allow them to figure around with their toys, break them up, see why they break? We don't. That is where there is a need for attitudinal challenge. Not when they have grown to age of 25 and you talk to them about creativity. It is at that age that you have to teach them creativity. The mindset is then becomes completely different. <clears throat> there was another boy. I, I, tell me how many times I did. Two minutes? So, uh, I will quickly share two stories. One is a common between her, between us, that this boy is from Shirod. And uh, we have a common ancestral house, and uh, normally we sleep early morning to have a early morning tea at our later lower house. And I saw that a boy, and he was reading, he was serving tea, and he was reading scientific America. So I said, why are you reading this? Uh, can you understand anything? I said, sir, I can understand all this. What, what have you studied? He says, I have done my um, 12th standard. I scored 89% in science. Uh, but I don't know money to go to college. What happened is my dad was a driver of a Kadamba bus. He was on a temporary service. And the uh, 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 bus man was an accident. His boots, the legs were cut off, and, and he was sent home because he was a temporary worker. No, nothing was given. This is how we are creating a society. We are not a caring society. Believe me. And, and so I said, don't worry. I will put you to college. So, so uh, we, we put him, I spoke to the MLA, who incidentally owns in the village uh, a college. Ah, all right. He passed out, but he couldn't get a job. So I, I actually tried and analyzed what the problem is. It is not the problem about is not knowing things. 
because this problem is about expressing things. So he could never tell other how he felt on the problem, how it can be approached. He was withdrawn. So I, uh, incidentally, uh, 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 a classmate of mine, he was, uh, uh, I think, ranked third or fourth at the whole PCS gym, very senior guy. So I said, I'm doing an experiment, and I want you uh, to take this boy as an experiment, and then mix them up, and I, and I told him exactly how he answered to my questions, and did this, I think, for a training, but I was hesitant, I said, in six months' time, he will throw it off. And then the 2008, uh, crash happened where everyone cut down their uh, employment levels. So again, then I was almost uh, 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 convinced that this boy must have lost his job. I happened to uh, bump into this guy in Mumbai uh, um, sometime and I said, have you sent him back? He says, normally I don't know what happens down, but this boy was so good that we said we, we don't want to keep in India. Uh, we have a huge project going in London for scheduling of some buses or something like that, and we have sent him to London. Your mother has met this boy. So today he, he has moved on, and today he is a vice president for mm, mm, vice president for Barclays. He, he studies every proposal which is for um, an IT industry. These are the examples. The third person that, uh, at the cost of overrunning the time, I will want to send the third person, because this is the message. The third person uh, was from a, 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 a waiter from Turkey restaurant who wanted, who had suicidal tendencies because he's, he's, I asked him, I talked to him, he says, I have very bad children. So I thought they were, I thought they were kids, or drugs or something like that. He says, no, 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 I would have been okay if there were drugs. I would have had no problem. But the first guy got into engineering and I had to sell all my, uh, this ornaments of my wife to put in. The second is still worse. Why? He's got into medical school. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, plight of a man. He was a waiter. So I said, okay, can you take uh, care of one child? Why don't you take care of the second? And then I, I, I made him that he should interact with me, he should come to my office. And I, from my office people, actually a lot of guys migrate to the West, you know what they say. And I, I take a pleasure saying that I brought him to a level where he can work for a, a, a large international bank. So this guy got that thing and then passed out. He came to me and he, just to tell me that sir, I'm going to leave it for them. Everything can be planned. And in that scheme of planning, I, I, I knew the first thing was an admission. So he got admission in a school which was ranked in top three in, in that engineering school. Uh, uh, then I had told them that this should never pack. So I did that, he said, you know, he, he, was, a, uh, he was from uh, this uh, Telugu region. So there are many Andhra uh, 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 associations. She said, I've got a list of all the under associations in London. I wrote to them, saying that I don't want any grant, but I, I need help to complete my education. He says, I can give you all the guarantees that within next two years, I will repay your money. And there are, there are always good Samaritans. You know, so, like in this morning, I was sharing them, share your uh, problems with me. So there are good Samaritans everywhere in the world. Otherwise, the world would not have lasted. There are good Samaritans. World is today existing because there are good Samaritans. So, so one of them said, you come over. No, you will pay my money later, but right now you come over. I'm sending her. So this boy passed out from that college. Uh, today he is, this is again the story of 2008. Today he is a chief data engineer for the largest gaming company in UK. And he has had one of our uh, Rotarians where I have worked with him. Uh, to place his son into that company. Imagine what a transformation. From a taker, he became a giver. So, the message is, if your child fails, nothing is bad. As so long as he takes it as a learning experience, finds out what his passions are, everyone may not be good at bookish knowledge. 
not necessary. You can reach much higher. Again, in my personal life, my son works for a, a world second largest company, consulting company called DCG, Boston Consulting Group. He studied at Parkai Kosesa, was not a doctor at all. But, you know, we had then worked with control man, the head there, his name was Sri Dhar, he told him, Vijay, don't keep this guy uh, in India, because he does not get his knowledge from the books, he gets it from doing it himself. And so he sent him to, uh, he recommended him to the <coughs> University of Southern California, and he did his MS in six months. And then he was this, uh, the, uh, the lady who was his guy was an initial founder of Intel. You know, you meet people, why I'm saying all this is these accidents then start happening. Once you go out. So, uh, uh, they, she placed him in Intel. And he was part of the team. We, we designed a chip for a smartphone. He left that and then he did his, uh, uh, I got him here, we started a private equity. In two years he left back. And today, he is on the verge of becoming a partner and his pace has been better than that of Indra Nui. Indra Nui was, was a CEO of Pepsi. Uh, so she worked with uh, Boston Consulting Group. And Kapil is now, he is incidentally one of the benefactors in mention his name. So that is how I remember that, you know, he never thought. But today, he is recruiting his second guys who come from the best schools. Harvard. Because their pressures are too much. So he says, I have to say guys from Harvard and Northern Eastern. So that is it. And there could be quite a few guys here who, who have not, who have not come here to the, uh, uh, to the platform to receive prizes being one and two. But their potential could be much so this is the message that I am leaving. Another very important study which uh, you know, our batch carried out at IIT with us. We ranked people on their final grades and today their positions in life. Believe me, it was an inverted curve. Because what succeeds in a commercial life is the people's skills. The third point I said is ability to learn and, and this yeah, we'll get accentuated. No, in our time we learn something we could apply 15 years down the line. Today it is not so. You have to change. You have to learn. So what is important is ability to learn to learn. You must develop this ability to learn, to learn, to learn. And then this is the scale which a college can give. How do they learn on their own? Because that is that is what is going to change them. That is what is going to create great alumni for you. Thank you very much and wish everyone a great success. Those who are participating uh, uh, as a blinded session, they have not got prizes, never mind. You could be the next person, uh, Bill Gates, or they could be next Steve Jobs. So it doesn't depend on your ranking. Thank you. I now request Father Kennedy Cruz to present a memento to our chief guest as it opens for our conversation. Appreciation 
to our chief guest for the day, Mr. Vijay Hindi. Thank you for gracing us with your presence on this occasion. Thank you also for the kind contribution that you made towards our students. I pray that our students and most of us today are inspired to be good Samaritans just like you. We extend our thanks to our Father Rector, Reverend Father Paul D'Souza. We appreciate your commitment towards this institute and the enthusiasm by which you are present for all our functions. My gratitude would be incomplete without mentioning the pillars of this institute, our director, Reverend Father Kinde de Cruz, and our principal, Dr. Nina Panandikar. Thank you for being exemplary mentors under whose leadership we all flourish. A special thank you to Reverend Father Ralin D'Souza. We are indeed blessed to have a force behind us who genuinely cares and refines the gifts and talents of our young people. Thank you to all the heads of departments for all the support provided. Great things are brought about and burdens are lightened through the efforts of many hands that are willingly engaged in a good cause. On that note, a big thank you to our cultural committee. Thank you, Professor Amitilve, Ms. David Alamau, Ms. Marilyn Mona, and Professor Stephanie Cruz. I also acknowledge the contributions of the annual day committee members in getting today's venue ready and providing technical assistance. Your hard work and planning done ahead of time has contributed towards the success of this function. A special thanks to Romeo, Amit and Nevis. With your help, we were able to take this event live on YouTube. Also, a special thank you to Aloysius and Roland for documenting this event in photographs. We extend our thanks to Mr. Akilesh Bise, Roland, Aloysius and Freddie Fernandez for his contributions towards making our 10-year completion logo and video. To our dear students, parents and other guests, we are so lucky to have your support. We are grateful for the trust that you've placed in us. Thank you for choosing Don Bosco. As we come to the end of this beautiful program, I would like to make one wish for all of us here today. That under God's protection, may we thrive, may we flourish, and may we continue to prosper. Thank you all again. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Professor Christina. We have come to an end of the function. Refreshments will be served outside the hall. So thank you one and all. Have a blessed day.